this is the third time I've done this due to my computer crashing every time. The last time being literally as I, after I had, had hit the stop recording button, but still somehow managed to corrupt my video. So here is the highlights version. We played cards with this guy. We got this rare card of a dog. We learned this new card game rule. Now we're off to go see the princess. Hey, it's that girl from the dance. Too much emotion for Squall. Sid is such a nice man for the leader of a paramilitary organization that trains and hires child mercenaries. Haha! -ha! It just gets worse every time I say it. Cypher's whole life is a failure. Thus we meet the only character other than Squall who we actually get to name. Keep, keep that in mind later on. Hey, it's the dog whose card we already won. I wonder if its card changes if I change its name here. Guess who's a party member? Go into Renoa's status screen to select new limit breaks for her to, to use. Angelo is Renoa's limit break. We're kidnapping the president of Gabadia! Also, whoops. Who is actually a dictator? Galbadia is basically Russia. And we're gonna blow up to Smithereen with a rocket launcher! No, we're actually kidnapping him. Trains! Step one, sneak aboard the second escort. Step two, proceed cautiously to on the roof of the second escort. Step three, proceed across the president's roof. Who hates guards? Step four, uncouple the first escort car. Step 5. Have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. Step 
Step five. Step six, uncouple the second escort car. Step seven, escape with the president's car. Get away with kidnapping a world, the leader of a world power. The dictatorial leader, in fact. I mean, all you need is a couple kids for that, right? Ignore this part! The sensors don't matter. Can you say, but... Code pressing minigame? Which has made infinitely harder because of the medium through which I am playing this game? Like that, that grid looks pretty straightforward. It, if you replace the B number with the PlayStation button codes. Except that it doesn't actually line up particularly well with the, those codes. One correspond. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah. Suffice it to say that that arrangement is not remotely close to what my button arrangement looks like, despite my buttons doing what they're supposed to be doing. Square plays the card game like it should. Triangle opens the menu like it should. Uh, I do have X and circle swapped, actually. Uh, but, and yet for some reason my triangle is button one. So, I just don't fucking know. Oh, I need practice. Uh, three, two, one, no. I didn't, I didn't actually see the code. One, one, four, three. One, one, four, three. Two, four, three, two. Two, four, three, two. One, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. I have, I have the order, the button order, proper button order, for me, written down on a piece of paper that I have propped up. And this is going to make it a lot harder. I know, hey, let's all make fun of Renoa's shoddy craftsmanship. Even Squall thinks it's bad. She says she did it on purpose. It's one of the ugliest thing I've seen in my entire life. You must really hate him. <laughs> ah, that is actually hilarious. A running theme! A clipping from a magazine. Anarchist Monthly, first issue. Galpadia's Dictator, President Vinzel Delling Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Okay, we're done. I hope this abriv abridged version has found you well, because I am so done with this part. Uh, I will see you next time when we actually jump onto the next train. Bye.